What's going on everybody? I wanted to get this video out because there's a lot going on, uh, going around about resistant starch. And resistant starch can have a lot of benefits to it, but those of us who are on a ketogenic diet or a low carb diet, we might be like, starch, I don't want any of that. Get that away from me. Um, but uh, there's a lot of benefits that can be had and I don't want you missing out on those. I want you to have a really healthy intestinal tract because that's truly the center of all health. So let's talk about what the benefits are of resistant starch, how you can get resistant starch into your diet and how you can get it into your diet without worrying about the insulin producing effects of some of the other digestible starches that might be in foods that are high in resistant starch. So let's talk about it. Um, number one, what is resistant starch? Resistant starch is starch that can't be entirely digested by your intestinal tract, by your, by your digestive system. And so what happens is it goes into your gut, it ferments, and the bacteria in your gut, they begin feeding on it. All right, so here are some of the benefits that you get. You can get from this. Number one, uh, resistant starch is known to potentially reduce the insulin insulinogenic effects of your meal. So, uh, eating a meal that is uh, that has resistant starch in it could actually reduce the insulin you produce in your postprandial state. Uh, number two, it's known to uh, uh, create blood flow to the colon. So uh, that's really good for intestinal motility. It's also good for healing the colon if it's been damaged. Another great thing is that resistant starch is known to increase mineral absorption. So for those of us who are on the ketogenic diet, mineral balance is one of the most important things. And a lot of us are consuming a lot of salt all day long, trying to maintain that mineral balance because we're losing water like crazy. And so, uh, and along with that, electrolytes. So this gives you an opportunity to get more minerals from the food you're actually eating. Um, the next thing is that it's actually a prebiotic. And because it's a prebiotic, uh, it's attracting friendly bacteria into your gut. It's giving them a food source so that they can take up more real estate and provide you with a better gut microbiome. The other really cool thing is that when the friendly bacteria feed on that resistant starch, they, re they begin to release fatty acids. And one of those fatty acids is butyrate. Butyrate is a really awesome thing for intestinal tract. It helps to reduce inflammation. It also helps to heal the interior lining of your intestinal tract. So for those of us who have compromised uh, digestive systems from IBD or IBS, this is a really great way for healing those in, in, enterocytes and for reducing gut permeability and stopping leaky gut syndrome. Um, so where can you get resistant starch from? So the best sources in food are from green bananas, from uh, potatoes, from, uh, from rice. Um, but the, you can't really digest green bananas and, and potatoes and rice if they're in their raw state. So what you want to do is you want to heat up your potatoes and your rice um, and you want to then cool them off and that's how you get what they call retrograde resistant starch that'll help to increase the amount of resistant starch that's in the rice and the potatoes and um, eating them cold you don't want to eat them hot right off the bat you can reheat them it's actually been shown that uh, reheating them doesn't reduce the amount of retrograde uh, resistant starch available so you can do that if you want to but make sure you've heated them and you've cooled them off um, the uh, other thing is this. So for those of you who are really, really sketchy about including any starch in your diet, which you shouldn't be entirely, entirely sketchy about it. If you've been fat adapted for a while, uh, you can read Jeff Volek and Stephen Finney. Those of you who are athletes, if you're getting enough physical activity in your routine per day, if you're, if you have a really, really, um, rigorous training schedule, you could eat up to uh, 150 grams of carbohydrate per day and not have a problem with uh, fat adaptation or, or staying in ketosis. And that's from Volek and Finney's Art and Science of Low Carbohydrate Performance. Those of you who might be uh, overweight and who are trying to burn fat, there are ways of getting resistant starch into 
your diet without having to take in those digestible starches and getting those carbohydrates in your system. So one of the best ways is with Bob's Red Mill Potato Starch. And you want to start with a really, really small dose, like a quarter of a teaspoon. And then you build yourself up. You mix it in with um, uh, some sparkling water. That's probably the best medium to mix it in. It absorbs really quickly. Um, but start with a quarter teaspoon. And then after you know 10 days, move yourself up to a half a teaspoon. And then from there, move yourself up higher. The most resistant starch you want in a day is going to be about 40 grams. You get about eight grams of resistant starch from a, a full teaspoon. And um, uh, beyond 40 grams, you can start to get some severe uh, gut discomfort. Trust me, I know this. Back in my meathead days, I put scoops of potato starch into my shakes because I was a dumb meathead. And that led to uh, a really rough time for me and everybody around me. Um, so uh, that's a, a really great way of getting into it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to link an article below by my brother, Ryan Naveau from uh, New Zealand. He's uh, a guy I respect a whole lot. And uh, he wrote an article on the Warrior Soul of Goji, uh, going to everything you need to know about resistant starch. So with that, guys, I hope this was informative. If you liked it, please let me know and pay us the highest compliment by liking and subscribing our channel. Um, and then, you know, if you really want to learn more about the ketogenic diet and how to implement it in your life the right way, sign up for our free training series, Start Keto Right at www.startketoright.com. Thank you so much for listening. Peace.